Oh, I need to add more wood chips back here, don't we? Get away from there. Come on. Leave the chicks alone. Come on, back up. Do you guys actually think I'm gonna like let you have a chick? Come on, go. Come on. Say hi. Hello. Get no chicken butt. No. Yes, Lucy. Mm-hmm. Are you going to knock over my phone? Really? You guys are so interested in the chickies. Did you just pet me? No, no. You guys are too much. Too much. So they have some shade during the day. We put a blanket over and put the little kitty gate on there. So our blanket goes on both sides and gives them shade since this is a barren area. You guys, my goodness gracious. Eep, scared the babies. Okay, well, I'll come back out and put them to bed tonight. Lock them up. And then hopefully Marshmallow turns a corner tomorrow. Here's hoping. So the gate that I was mentioning earlier in the garden for it to keep the deer out. This is how we close it. There it is, all closed up. Kind of hard to see, which is nice for when I'm sitting over in my chair up in the corner by the fruit trees. So that is pretty much the day today and I just have to put the chickens up later tonight and hope Marshmallow turns a corner for tomorrow. Good morning. I'm going to go check on the chickens and let them out, see how they're doing. <laughs> see them through the window. You guys want out. coming. That's good. Hi Marshmallow. here and change their food again. Husband will have to come do their water because I have to go get my oldest child. 
It is supposed to be almost 100 degrees today in paradise. So it's only about 10:30 ish in the morning here, and you can see I'm already in my gardening getup to protect my skin and try and stay a little bit cooler outside. Um, earlier today, my husband and I were actually able to get some shade cloth up, and I wanted to show that to you. Um, so here we go. As you can see, the yard is full sun, except for this little part the tree does throughout the day. That blue bed that is right here, usually around noon-ish, it really starts to get all the sun. And that's where the majority of my peas are, so I don't really have shade cloth up for it. I don't think my peas this year are going to do too much. covered part of the potatoes. I was hoping that I would have some coverage here already for these. Unfortunately, I don't. I may move the hoops over there to right here to cover the potatoes. This is covering some of the tomatoes that I have in there, along with some of the peppers. And then back here, the majority of my tomatoes are covered. So this is the shade cloth. I think it's 50 or 60 percent. I'm not sure. It's been a few years since I bought it. Um, the reason that I'm using shade cloth is because I don't want the fruit, the flowers that are on there to shrivel up and die and then I don't get a good yield, a good harvest. So this is so like these, if they get overheated, usually over 85 degrees, the flowers will usually shrivel up and die and fall off and then you don't get that fruit. So definitely <laughs> want to get as much as possible. This is not the year I want to play with losing <laughs> the potential harvest um, with the supply chain and all of that stuff looming over our heads right now. Peas in the shade. I haven't gotten anything off of these yet, but you can see the flowers that are setting. So we'll see what happens. I really need to harvest all of this. I guess I'm just going to let this radish go to seed and collect to use for next year. But the rest, like this one's going to seed, but the rest of these I need to, to harvest and use up. I think I'm going to pickle them. And then again here, Arugula is super sensitive. It's super sensitive to heat. I'm actually surprised it's lasted this long, but I'm gonna take that out. I need to harvest all my lettuce and we need to start eating that a lot more. Corn seems to really be loving the heat. Look at this. This is so cool. Never done corn before. So this will be an interesting experiment. You can see where I've reseeded the ones that didn't do so well. I have a few more over there. And then along the drip line, I seeded beans, which they look like they're about to start popping up right through here. have the bush beans. Here's some pole beans. I think these are Chinese noodle beans that'll be going up and over. <laughs> these peas are probably gonna crap out today. <laughs> Chicken feather. These are the gold raspberries. They seem to be coming up on these two. Over there we have one. These other ones, I have yet to see anything pop up. Nothing here either. Chamomile's coming up. These are some Cosmos. This one hasn't popped up yet either. These are some marigolds that I seeded. Here's a dahlia. 
which ones are these? I think these are the sugar baby watermelons. I'm going to attempt to put them up the trellis right here, kind of see how that goes. These ones are usually a lot smaller. <sighs> so I'm sitting in the middle. It is so hot and it's only 1030 in the morning. Oh my. Might need to buy more shade cloth. I don't know how the plant, the plants just love this though. I have been watering a lot more this week because we have so many new starts still and the seeds, I wanted to make sure that they were getting enough water since their roots aren't that deep when they're so little and transplanted and such. So hopefully it all does well. The weeds are sure doing great. I need to come out here tonight when it's cooler and spend some time. <laughs> These are the pumpkins overcrowding my lovely cucumbers. I'm gonna need to spend some time. Maybe even trellising those up, I'm not sure. I may end up pulling that poor little tomato out there. Open to suggestions. <laughs> oh. Starting a new garden over from scratch is fun. It really is, it's a lot of work, but it's fun. I'm hoping in the ne next year, it'll be kind of on autopilot a little bit more. I'm trying to take a lot of good notes. Um, I'd shown you guys my diagram before. I need to update it and then I can show it again if needed. Um, but that way I can learn from my mistakes and hopefully have an even better year next year. That's all we can do. I started keeping track of temperatures now too, which I didn't do before. This will be the first year I've done that. And on that note, it is hot. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up and go back in the house. Got this at Lehman's. It's pretty cool. Does the rain, the temperature, wind, direction. And you can see, it says it's already in the 90s in direct sunlight in the middle of my garden. Oh, that's hot. Quick update on Marshmallow, my white chicken right here. She's been a little bit more spunky. She's been out. Um, we've been seeing her eat and drink. She's not laid an egg yet. I think it's been four or five days, but I'm not noticing any issues. She's not doing that little penguin walk. Nothing like that. We may just give her a soak just for just for fun. But she definitely seems to be acting better 